I'm going to ask you questions and then you give whatever answer you want. So okay. I'm just, okay. Thanks for sitting down with me today. Uh, want to tell everyone your name, age, year, and the area of study? My name's Nicole. So I my last name, sorry. You don't have to. Oh, okay. So my name's Nicole. I'm 21. I'm a, oh, I'm 22, actually. I'm a senior, and I'm a biology major with a minor in art. Nice. Okay, the purpose of this interview is to help people, especially next fall's incoming freshmen, better understand what college is like now with uh, online classes during this pandemic and how things may be different than what they are used to hearing about college. Since they can't ask their parents what it's like to be a college student under these circumstances, you can give them some better insight. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how have you adapted to online learning? Um, I've adapted by creating different time management skills than I would rather if I was in a classroom or on campus rather than going to the library and studying and stuff. Um, we didn't really have that opportunity, so I make time in my home and I make study spaces so it's not I'm not in a loud environment to get all my work done. So I make sure that I prioritize my work a little bit more because it's easier to get distracted when you're not in a school setting. Yeah. Understandable. Um... Do you think there's any benefits to taking your classes online that maybe were not there when we had classes in person? Um, there's definitely benefits. I know, like, I would always run late for class on campus, like, if I had just woken up and, like, ran out of my dorm and, like, now you could just wake up and join class and be, like, actively involved in your pajamas, so obviously that's a little bit better just for, like, the student perspective, but, um, overall, like, I... I like rather in class classes because I learn better that way. But I know some of my friends have learned better through online learning. Mm -hmm. um, so synchronous versus asynchronous. Could you explain the difference between the two of them for someone who's never heard those terms before? So synchronous is when you meet every like scheduled time with your class and you have an actual meeting and. While asynchronous is more like you don't meet and the professor assigns you work, you complete the work and you don't like have a lecture necessarily and you just do work and submit it. And like maybe you might meet like one out of the three scheduled times that you're supposed to meet, but it's not like every single time as if you would have like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class on campus. Interesting. Um... Do you find that asynchronous learning lacks any humanity, or do you feel that people can maybe benefit from this independence? Um, honestly, personally, I think I don't really like asynchronous. I learn better when an instructor is continuously telling me like what I need to do, what I like, reminding me things, like reminding me of deadlines and stuff. So, I mean, I can see that independence is definitely a benefit for the asynchronous, but personally, I don't like it. Have you been able to be involved in any clubs or organizations through all this? Um, yeah, I'm actually involved in a couple of different organizations. I'm in a sorority, Alpha Kappa Phi, and I was the recruitment chair this semester. So I was in charge of doing recruitment online virtually. Um, and we had a few challenges with that, but like we were able to do it and recruit girls through that. Um, I'm also involved in Art and Scope, which is... Um, like an art magazine for students on campus to submit their artwork free like from classes or like from their own time that they submit and it's like a magazine that we used to be able to hand out in person like on campus but now because everything's virtually it's like an online magazine so those we meet like on teams or like zoom uh how have your grades been during all this have you been able to keep up with work and all that um, it really depends on the classes. Some of my biology classes are harder, so it's a lot easier to learn if they were in person. And especially if I had lab classes, I know last year when everything started to be up virtually, I had a lab course and it wasn't easy online because you really need to be hands-on. Um, but other classes, I've definitely benefited towards being online. So it's kind of like varied between, between like the classes that I'm taking. But overall, I've been able to keep up my, like, GPA. I've always, like, had, like, a 
strong driven like work ethic for my classes so I've been able to keep up my grades cool um, <clears throat> what do you think has been the most challenging part of all this um, probably to stay on top of what I need to do um, like I said before I like when an instructor is continuously telling me a class like what's due this week and what's due like the next class and sometimes especially with asynchronous classes it's harder to get like on top of your stuff and like I definitely have to keep on top of my planner to make sure that I'm doing the things that are assigned that week and making sure that they get done um, it's definitely more challenging to study um, and not be able to go to like extra credit or like extra help um, that used to be in person and um, it's definitely been more difficult like learning and studying but I've tried to adapt since last year at least what's the greatest lesson that online education has taught you um probably to just value what you have because everybody never really thought that this never was gonna happen and like i feel the last thing that students would miss out on is like going to class every day and like waking up early and like going to campus and being in a classroom and like tr learning or studying, but like now we all miss it and we'd rather be doing that than being in our beds and studying like that. So I think like to value what you have. So if you had to give any incoming freshman next year some advice, is, do you think that's what it would be? Probably, and to just keep an optimistic attitude towards everything. All right, well, thanks so much for talking to me. Appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs>